Hey everyone, Jason here. Welcome to my knot channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you the seven easiest knots that you can know, even if you don't know how to tie knots. By the end of this video, you'll know the knots that you can use for pretty much every situation. The thing with knots is that there are categories of knots based on what their function is. So there are knots that bind things together. There's knots that you use to secure something to a rail or a post and knots that you use to tie two ropes together. There are of course other types of knots, but I'm trying to summarize things here to make this video quick and easy. I'm gonna show you that with only one knot you can accomplish all the main categories of knots. In this video, the knot we're gonna be using is the simple overhand knot, which is in its simplest form, a stopper knot. Chances are you already know this knot and have tied it before, either on purpose or accidentally. A stopper knot is a knot that's used to prevent a rope from sliding through an object, a device, or slipping through another knot. By tying an easy overhand knot, you can prevent the rope from slipping through. We're going to have another look at the overhand knot as a stopper knot in a moment. But first, if you tie an overhand knot around an object, or objects, to hold them together, then it becomes a binding knot, like this. You'll likely need to double it up, and when you do, make sure you tie it left over right and then right over left, or right over left and then left over right. And although these are basically two overhand knots, this knot is technically called a square knot. The next type of knot is an adjustable loop. I'm gonna show you two ways to make an adjustable loop with the overhand knot. The first way is by passing a little bite through the overhand knot instead of the complete working end. Don't worry about the technical jargon. A bite is just basically when you fold the rope and use a folded bit of rope instead of the tail end itself. I'll try to keep the jargon simple, but I'll also try to explain it as I go. When you tie your overhand knot with the bite, this makes a slip knot and its main use is to create another type of stopper knot, but one that's easier to untie. The other way of tying an adjustable loop is if we tie our overhand knot around the standing part of the rope. This makes another slip knot, but this time it's called a noose. If we use either of those adjustable loops and tie them around an object, then we create what's called a hitch knot. And the slip knot that we tied just a moment ago becomes what's known as the slippery half hitch. And the noose is still just called a noose, but is now also a hitch knot. Sometimes you might want to tie a loop in the end of a rope that doesn't tighten or loosen on itself, and there are a couple options with the overhand knot. The first option is to tie another slip knot like we've been doing. But as we've seen, the slip knot is adjustable and comes undone easy. So what we can do is tie another overhand stopper knot with the working end. This time tie it onto the standing part of your rope and then cinch the two overhand knots together and you have what's called the Englishman's loop. This is basically a semi-adjustable loop knot. You can slide your stopper knot forward and back along the main line to adjust the size of your loop, or you can simply move the position of your knots to create the size of loop that you want. When the knots are all nestled together, the loop doesn't move, and so it's also a fixed loop knot. But if you want a fixed loop knot, you can also tie one with the overhand by simply folding your rope so that it's doubled up. Remember, this is called a bite. And then tying another overhand knot. This is called the overhand loop, and it's as easy as it gets, but the problem is that this knot is sometimes a bit difficult to untie. The last type of knot that I'm gonna show you is for when you want to tie two ropes together. I'll show you two different ways, and the first way is by simply taking your two ropes end to end and tying an overhand knot with them. This is called an overhand bend. It's called a bend because this is the name of the category of all knots that are used to tie two ropes together. The overhand bend is easy and effective, but just like the overhand loop that we saw a moment ago, it can become a little bit difficult to untie. 
Another option that's equally simple to tie is to tie your first rope to the second rope with a single overhand knot. Once that's done, then tie the second rope to the first rope, again with another overhand knot, and then pull them together to cinch it up. This knot is called the fisherman's knot. So there you go. I made this video to demonstrate that you can learn how to tie all the knots that you need, quite simply with knowing just one knot. If you'd like to see other simple knots, then I recommend you check out my video, Eight Knots That Everyone Should Know. Thanks for watching.